Hello. Welcome. Hello. To Draw Bomb. It's us once again. You thought you could keep us away, but, you know, we're here. I'm Brandon, okay. and this is my co host, Ian. That's right, and Draw Bomb is the kind of show where we draw pictures and ask isn't streaming kind of like uh, a form of NFT? Or a form of, of Bitcoin or cryptocurrency where uh, you basically you, you put in the man hours at the computer instead of the computer doing it for you and then you use all that energy and then you don't make any money. That's that's streaming right there. Um, is this is this also a scam or our show? This is uh, I think so. I mean, people have given us money and like they've uh, gotten yeah, absolutely they nothing of value. Yeah, we got those fucking suckers. What a bunch <laughs> of idiots. <laughs> it's a good thing uh, this isn't live and they don't... Oh, no. Wait a minute. Oh, my gosh. It wait. is live. Oh, jeez. all of that. We've outed ourselves as pieces of shit. Um, well, they already anyways. knew about that part, but... Yeah, we've, we've recorded enough episodes. They can kind of put that together, I guess. How you doing, Ian? I'm doing all right. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing real great. Do you I feel, feel like a million bucks. Oh, I'm happy to hear that. But you're not actually worth a million dollars, are you? Um, not that I know of. I don't know. Uh, a million bucks isn't that much that? anymore. I feel like you could probably yeah, tr make if you true. like. So a human person is probably worth about a million bucks for the right buyer. I feel wait. So you're telling like, are you considering getting into like? selling trafficking what are you, myself what are you, I don't know. human trafficking are you because i feel like that's a dark like that is a hell of a like stream show draw bomb gets involved in the human trafficking trade it's a social sounds... experiment you know oh those my. are popular on youtube right now they are you know like you walk up to somebody you tell them like hey uh i'm the i'm the revived ghost of your great great grandpappy and then they, they're like no, you're not. Get the fuck out of my face. And you're like, ha, say hi to the camera. And then you run off. You can also do the ones where you're like, you go to a homeless person, you're like, here's $20. And you stick a camera in their face and put some nice music yeah. over it. People eat eat it up. I, I, I watch three of those videos a day at least. They make me feel good even though I don't give anything to charity. Well, they're YouTubers. They can afford it. I can't. Uh, I can't sell much. I, like my my contributions to charity are like twenty bucks, and I bet like the charity company is just like cool. Can't wait to solve world hunger with this fucking amount of money. So, it's mainly being sarcastic I, because I think people like watch those things. So like, it's like ah, oh, that feels good, even though they go out into the world and don't actually. Do oh yeah, absolutely. People. Like uh, starting off on you know, a very positive. <laughs> we're just a bundle of joy today, aren't we? We are. People don't come Just... here to be to be like. This show doesn't make isn't isn't designed to make you feel good about the world. We don't we don't uh, we don't shy away from telling it like it is. This That's is draw right. bomb. You know, if, you want, <laughs> if you want, you know, if you want to be coddled and told you're pretty, well, check out some of the other streamers because here at Draw Bomb. We <laughs> tell it like it is. <laughs> um, gosh, we're we're already off to a great start, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, Ian also got a soundboard. I did get recently. a soundboard. And so, if we were obnoxious before, expect that to go up at least by a hundred percent. 
Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> um, I have such one. Wait, I was shit. Oh my god. god. Jesus. I get a control of your soundboard, buddy. I I'm pressing the wrong buttons, but with the soundboard, I thought of a, a wonderful new gag I can do. Um, which is somebody trying to sing when the saints co go marching in, um, but they keep getting censored, but because of DMCA copyright strikes. Um, okay. Would you like me to do that bit for you now? Of course, of course. Okay. Is this the bit so, that I was? Yeah, this is the bit. Informed was, was coming. About. Okay. Yes. Good. It's yeah. it's I'm getting I'm getting it out of the way right out the gate, so I can move on with my life. Um, so anyway, you know, here's my very very. You might have you might have to do it every episode if it's a big hit. Uh, it comes my it comes my like thing that people like I go to like auditoriums and people are like do yeah. the thing. It's the guy. Um, so, oh man, he did it. What's his name again? He's... I don't know. I don't fucking care. I just wanted to do his thing. Do the thing. Dance. He could Mom. die. <laughs> um. So yeah, this is uh somebody trying to sing when the saints go marching in, um, but they keep getting censored because of DMCA strikes. Okay. All right. Oh, and uh, so, go, smart, when this, go, when, I'll be in the number, when this, it, go, I, it, it, and that's my bit. But <laughs> itch! You know, that was so convincing. Is that, that how, uh, <laughs> I don't think that's how DMCA strikes work no not at all <laughs> that'd be fun we got it's most of that song in there <laughs> yeah the music if anything is the part that's really they managed the to separate are, the audio somehow you know, the, ly the lyrics big deal but like the music is the part that i think you really get you get busted for although that song's got to be old enough now that you know i uh, yeah i think everyone can enjoy everyone can enjoy that great song the saints go marching in at this point, I think the song is uh, royalty free, but it's recordings of it that end up being subject right. um, to to the whatever. Um, legality is confusing and intentionally so. That's my conspiracy theory: is that the law is hard and confusing so that you can get fucked. Yeah, the for law's any for rich people to use. Exactly right. It's like how TurboTax pays to make ta uh, the whole tax season harder or whatever so that people buy TurboTax. Is that true? Um, That's wild. Uh, th there was like a thing on like Adam Ruins everything huh. about Oh, they got me. Or something like That's that. what I use. Yeah, I, I didn't pay money for it. Like, I almost paid money for TurboTax and then I was just like, oh, here's the free IRS version. <laughs> I didn't know that existed. I should I, I pay money for TurboTax. Oh, yeah. I'm not like sure how, how it compares... Not sure how it compares to like the regular TurboTax, but with the IRS version, it gave me like extra options that wasn't in the standard free version. But they were like, basically how it works is like they don't tell you about it on the TurboTax website. But then if you not. go to the IRS website, they're like, we do have our own version of the TurboTax. It's the IRS sponsored version. And then like you click that, and then your TurboTax is like, oh fine, we're the IRS TurboTax version now. Um, alright, I'll so, check that out next year. Yeah, it's all a scam. Anyways, <clears throat> um, gosh, what are we drawing right here in this picture? I'm drawing a wrestler, I was trying to, but Whoa. it doesn't really matter. Do you, is there any particular reason we are drawing wrestlers? Is there... Um, cause wrestling's fun, and also cause we just watched, uh, uh, Wrestlemania yesterday. That's correct. Um, and, uh, we were gonna have a special guest on, but he's, uh, he decided that his family's more important than yeah. our stupid show. What a fucking doofus. Yeah. Um, ew. Get out of our face with your family. <laughs> How dare you? Oh, there you go. How there dare you, good sir. Yeah, so, you know, um, he has priorities. Who can blame him? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I mean, we joke. We, we... I, I, we, we pretty much cancel things anytime for this show because we want to, uh... You mean uh, I do? No, but, uh, you know, 
Uh, I don't think you've ever done it. I think you're pretty good about it. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't have much of, like, I don't have, like, a girlfriend or, like, people who I don't necessarily... Look, it's fine. The point is that I'd rather we get our hours and our own taken care of before we worry about this, this fucking streaming show. I don't have um, a girlfriend so... anymore because she said I streamed too much and left me. Oh. Let's see, that's exactly... You know, if Twitch. we had just... If she had just oh, talked right. about it ahead of time, you could have said, "You could have said, uh, please, baby." <laughs> I'll change. I'm a changed man. Um, I am fucking these hands up. I'm drawing right here. Are you drawing his like manager? That. I'm drawing his wrestler, which is like a Harpo Marx inspired, um, wrestler. <laughs> Got it. Uh, called the funny man hey he's got jokes he's got Probably. them jokes what'd you think of wrestlemania i enjoyed it i had a great time it was good i i liked it more than last year's i think so uh, too i think uh this was uh, a better wrestlemania i haven't watched i mean i actually have watched my fair share but i will say in like previous years i didn't really pay that close attention i don't know i i think by night, night two weeks I think by, yeah, the betting helps. I think by night two, we did get a little caught up in the soundboards <laughs> where we didn't pay yeah. attention so much to the wrestling. Um, but I also feel like night two featured more just standard wrestling matches. Like night one had a lot more uh, yeah. sort of gimmick wrestle matches, but I thought those were actually really enjoyable. Um, yeah, I, they, they had my attention with all the good ones, but uh, yeah, it was fun. It was fun. There was some goodies. Yeah. Some good moments, a lot of, especially like that cage match. Where yeah, the, the, that cage match was pretty excellent. A dude was escaping the cage, and then another guy literally ripped the cage open and pulled him back in. <laughs> pretty yeah. dramatic. And, and we were it. watching, and we were just like, uh, oh, there's, it's over. This match is over. Like, that guy's pretty much outside. He's just got to climb down. How do you pull a man back into a cage? And that guy did it. <laughs> he found a way. Yeah. It was great. Um, it was, that was an excellent... Excellent, excellent WrestleMania. Good, good, uh, just like good moments. I managed to lose more money than last year. I managed to actually make money. Like last year, I had to pay 50 cents, I think, to each person. Now I oh, got. Oh, I thought you, I thought you made money last year because I owed no, I a dollar to each of you last year. We, we only bet was... 50 cents each match, so it's very low stakes, but it's it, it's fun. Yeah, it's. It's, uh, you know, we do, like, the trading places bets where it's, like, a meaningless amount of money. And yeah. it's more just for the, just uh... Just for the fun of winning and losing. Yeah. So, uh, but it was a good time. And, uh, I made money. Maybe I did come away with... No, I'm, but I feel like I paid money to Matt You might have owed him last more year. than you made for me. I think that's possible. Um, it was all a blur. I was pretty drunk. Um... Matt makes money every year. As he should, because he, he knows his shit. He knows his stuff. He like people were doing moves, and he'd be like, "Oh my God, it's that move." <laughs> that was and one of my favorite like, parts. Yeah. And some of those names are just like, they could be totally made up, and we're like, "Wow." You know <laughs> yeah. all the names. Wow, you, you know all your stuff. Um, I in the uh, the Clock Crew Discord, um, they have like a WrestleMania, uh, mm -hmm. channel, and uh, I had avoided going in it, uh, until. After. Like, re yeah, until after, just to avoid spoilers. And so the uh, the one person who had posted in it about the WrestleMania, um, they were uh, their first post was, "Wow, legitimately surprised by Bad Bunny, dude, really." And then there's spoilers for anyone who I guess uh, didn't want to get it spoiled. But like, I was gonna go in and be like, "Yeah, Bad Bunny did a great job with that Canadian destroyer." And then I looked, <laughs> and that was what he had put in spoilers was Canadian destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And I only so, know it's called the Canadian destroyer because when Bad Bunny did the Canadian destroyer, Matt was like, "Oh my God, it's the Canadian destroyer." <laughs> <laughs> that was. It's it's only it's. I like wrestling. Uh. But it's it's mainly fun, only fun to me if I have people in like a watching who are like really into it. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's fun to like. It's fun to have people who already know what's up. When you're like, it's like playing Dungeons and Dragons, and you have like at least one veteran on the team, because then like. Yeah. 
they get kind of understand more what's going on so they can enjoy certain moments more but they also help kind of grease the wheels so like if people don't exactly know what's happening they can be like oh yeah that's a canadian destroyer right there it's got a dc of blah 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 i'm like the guy that only watches the super bowl and then never watches another football game the entire year sometimes not Same. Even that. so like it's fun to have somebody in the room who's like actually invested yeah and not just um, like me we had a good time though that was, that was a lot of fun it's good yeah but don't take your word for it. <laughs> I'm not fast enough. No, it's okay. Don't do it. You know, I I, I don't want to spoil all the, the soundboard sounds right off the bat, but we've been having fun <laughs> with uh, getting it set up. I'm going to rig some of it up to uh, a stream deck on my phone, and then I'll be able to be a little bit more rapid fire. Perfect. I want to get, like, a, a stream deck, though. though. Those look... Yeah. I don't even know if, like, I'd get my shoes out of it, but it would be fun to have. Just be like, ah, what ha, should, ha, look what at you my do is Professor down, Xavier button. You should download the app, because that's free. Like, on, not on the, your phone, but, like, just on your computer. And then you can see, mm -hmm. like, what it's capable of doing. It's, and it's pretty, pretty in-depth, all the stuff you can do. But, like, it, it has a big list of different things you can add and, like, how they react to your computer. So you could, might get, be able to get a few ideas of how you might use one if you bought it. Before you yeah, I, I I can think of like things I'd want to have it set up with like with OBS and, and things like that. You um, for like video games and stuff too, and maybe even like Photoshop true. or not Photoshop, but like you know whatever drawing program you use. Yeah, because you can set it up for like hotkeys and things like yeah. that. So that'd be cool for like. Uh... I, I honestly though, I'd probably get the most use out of it with Blender, because. Uh... Blender just has so many goddamn keyboard shortcuts, and they're like, hey, uh, press all of the number buttons that uh, correspond to the word help, and if you were to put uh, numbers to all the letters in the alphabet, but in reverse, and then uh, wow. say the secret chant. There's just so many goddamn like hotkeys wow. in Blender that's just like, press G seven times. Um, wow. Um, so, uh, wow. If if they, there you go. Uh, if I were to have like the stream deck and I could set up like some of the keyboard shortcuts for Blender, so that then I'm just like, oh, press the P, Q, and the L keys. Guess what? Nah, dude. Boom. One button right there. Pretty cool. Yeah. That's one use for it. But don't take my word, anyways. Um. <clears throat> so, um. You know, there's a uh, there's also we could just keep on adding more and more equipment to our setups until we are just one with machine. Until Man. we're just like, you know, perfectly set up to be robbed. Exactly. You have a bunch of expensive equipment. And you know, with me trying to move back into the city, I'll be a, a moving target. Are you trying to be Ian Pig in the city? Yeah, that's right, Pig in the big city. That's how you, cause that that's that fucking movie title can be quite a mouthful to say because they put the word pig and big pretty no, much right. It's just it's just I think it's just Babe Pig in the City. Is it Big City? Isn't it? I think it's Babe just Pig in the Big City. Oh, it might just be Babe Pig in the City. I could have called well, it. missed out an opportunity. Pig City. Pig, pig, in, pig in, in, the, the, in the Pig City. Big in the Pig City. Yeah, Is no, it it's big? just Babe Pig in the City. Babe. Big, babe, babe, big in the pig oh! in the big city. <laughs> if it was babe big in the pig city, um, it would be ba like the movie Babe meets Big with Tom Hanks. So this it's like the movie. Oh my god, that's what it feels like because I've still been trying to say the right name, which is it is not anyway. Look, the point is, it's just Babe Pig in the city. Right. Um, so I'm just adding words to the titles that are not there. Someone has to. You know, who's gonna come up with these creative decisions if not for me and George Miller? Is he yep. the guy? Correct. Who? And he directed, as we all know, Mad Max. Pig in the Sorry. city. <laughs> Mad Max, pig in the city. I personally like Babe 3, Beyond Thunderdome. That was a good one. Um, I liked especially when they had they showed the pig in the beginning and everyone was trying to cook him and he was like on a spit with like an apple 
in his mouth, and he's just like, I bet you're all wondering how I got here. <laughs> um, anyways. <clears throat> but the... Uh... I got nothing. What were you gonna say? This story starts two weeks ago. Then, That's like, right. I don't know if the song starts playing as it goes back is. I believe it's time for me to fly. I don't know. Um, it, it's it's funny because the the like that meme kind of went around, like did its rounds on the internet. Like, yeah. it's, I mean, it's been a movie convention for a while, but I feel like the meme of everyone kind of doing that happened in the last three or four years or something like that. But then the Sonic mm -hmm. movie came out, and it literally starts with that. And I was just like, I can't tell if still do a lot of movies start. Yeah. But I was I was wondering if like the Sonic movie at that point if they're doing it in a reference to the meme or if they're just legitimately just still using that same age old trope. It's basically um, how Thor Ragnarok started too, but it's true. I'm really working on this guy's butt cheeks. Sorry, go ahead, keep going. No, yeah, no, Thor no, Ragnarok it's starts. Just, the I same still way. see it a lot. Although both examples could be things that were kind of intentional. Yeah, I well, I, I don't know if the Sonic example is intentional because that's also the same movie. They're about four. Or the, the same. Both could be, like they both. They could be. Would be like things that would do it potentially. Yeah, because I, I I don't know how much stock I put into like the Sonic movie being quite so meta because they are also the same movie uh, where uh, they have like a scene where they explain to you how to use the Olive Garden app. Um, it's pretty egregious. I don't remember that part, but there's, the, there's like it's just a, a minor scene it. before like the agents pop in and they're like, oh, let's get Olive Garden. Oh, sweet! And then like it shows them using the app, and he's just like, so show me how you use the thing or whatever. Like uh -huh. they just literally show her ordering food on the app as like a almost like a, it's like how in po like the Pokemon anime would like explain the gameplay mechanics of the game. Um, for they people use, who are watching. They're kind of a commercial of sorts. Yeah. It was pretty egregious. Like, there were, like, a couple of other Olive Garden references, but that scene in particular, I was just like, oh my god, they're really just showing us how to use the app right now. For a... For a... A... For a licensed thing that has so much integrity like Sonic and only makes quality things, it's a shame to see them stoop <laughs> to that level. When you think about Sonic, especially in the modern day and age, people think quality. It's I think synonymous. Like ripped with off. It. Like, I feel like. How many good Sonic games are there since, like, the originals? Uh, okay, I can actually answer this for you. So there's the. Now, there's some debate. So, like, first of all, there's the Sega Genesis games Sonic 1, 2, and 3, uh, Sonic right. and Knuckles. Now, Sonic 3D Blast, what you f how you feel about that depends. I think it sucks, but um, I've also played it all the way through multiple times. Um, but it's not great. It's like an entirely... It's not great. Anyways, uh, so then, you know, they have the Sonic Adventure games, which that, you know, how the you Dreamcast feel about ones those... Pretty good, I thought. What was that? Dreamcast one was pretty good, I thought, although I played it as a child. Yeah, those are that's the uh, Sonic Adventure ones. I feel yeah. like me. I mean, I haven't played them, so I can't make any sort of uh, judgment call based on that. But you know, I feel like those are also pretty divisive. Although people in general seem to have good memories of those, so I think we can put those in the win column. But I think particularly the second one. I don't think people care about the first one. Um, and then you have like Sonic 2006, which was a nightmare. Um, Sonic yeah. Unleashed, which was really bad but had fun daytime sections. There's a game called um, Sonic Heroes that made me so mad that I bought it when I was a kid. <laughs> I, sp I bought it new for like $50, and it was, like, even the menus were, like, broken. I'm just like, who made this? I was so mad. I, uh... Sonic Heroes, I'm looking at it right now. I, I vowed that day, like, like, somebody who just, like, had their family killed and vowed vengeance on, like... I, I uh, vowed that day to always read reviews and never buy a game without knowing anything about it ever again. Reviews for like Sonic Heroes were mixed or average. Some viewers felt like the game was better than previous 3D Sonics, but still below the quality of the 2D games. The T PS2 versions' reviews were considerably worse. That's what um, I had it on, was PS2. Yeah, so you had the shitty version of it, apparently. Yeah, I'm aware. 
<laughs> I know. Um, people like Sonic Generations and Sonic Colors, so like blue. Take uh, yeah, the blue. Red. Blue's a good color. Those are the Sonic uh, Colors. Uh, I think yeah, are there blue others? for is there. I guess orange if you count tails. Um, red's already covered with uh, his shoes, but you know you also get knuckles in there. Um, no one really likes shadow. Uh, you know, everyone I does like is the bat. You know lady. what? Green. Oh, you have to have right. Oh yeah. Um, and people always call her Rouge. Um, even though her name's clearly Rogue, because she's like a rogue. I assume. I don't know. People are always just like like the characters. Is it because it's pre it's spelt rogue and I guess I rouge guess you'd and have rogue. to refer to the animated stuff because yeah, oh, otherwise it's just red. I, I haven't played like I haven't played the Sonic Adventure one, so I don't know how they pronounce it in the game. But uh, is is rouge like a French word for something? Like, am I am I missing out? Like, um, a, I mean, a red powder or cream used for yeah. So I guess rouge, rouge is, is like, like a makeup. A makeup. Yeah. Oh, you know what? If you okay, so looking okay, okay, yeah. So her, she spelt like rouge. Never mind. I'm just I'm the asshole, I guess. Yes. Um, the I the use in the wrong spot. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it, but I was just like, it's spelt rogue. It's not. It's spelt rouge. So whatever. But she's a white bat. So oopsies. Yeah. I just made those noises happen. But yeah. Um. A white either way, bat. It's, Oh, white bat. So she's not. Chicago. <laughs> um, that doesn't strike me as very rouge-like, but maybe it's because she needs rouge to put it's on. Because she's a broad. Make... Oh, she's one of them dames. And broads wear rouge. <laughs> and if you're not wearing makeup, what are you doing? Get yourself back on that makeup, there. anyways. Um, yeah, that's played out enough. We don't need to. Yeah. We... Ooh, you yeah. stink. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Oh, you stink! So yeah, so I'm sure women love to be reminded that they're constantly uh, yeah, being discriminated against. It's a funny joke to bring up the thing that they actually hear like most All days. All the time. Yeah, they're thrilled with it. You should. Oh you know, yeah, that you know, I almost forgot. If you ever see a woman who's having a bad day, just jokingly tell her to get back in the kitchen. She'll love it. She'll be like thrilled. Yeah. So yeah. So anyways, uh, Rouge the Bat, not pronounced Rogue. Finally got to the bottom of that one. Um, Took some time to get there, but we figured it out. Yeah. We you know, it's just our way to the source. there's not a lot of reasons that I go around googling like Rouge the Bat's name. <laughs> it's not. Uh, oh, you don't Google never... that? Like, I usually open up like an incognito window. I've got a, a I've got a pinned tab of the Google image search of Rouge the Bat. <laughs> um, I pinned it when it was twelve, and it's just you know it's it's like a fine still line there. at this point. It just keeps aging better and better. Um, I don't think she even exists in like Sonic. Does she still get put? In, do they still make Sonic games? When was the last Sonic game they made? I don't know. God. Um, I don't understand why she's like. I guess, you know, not here to yuck yums, <laughs> so we don't need furries. to get into it. Yeah, furries, but she's a bat. She is a bat, yeah. There's certain they animals want you to, that yuck. They want you to want to fuck her. <laughs> You're only supposed to want to have sex with all the other animals, not bats. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Little bunny, get in here. Rouge the bat, get the fuck out, you nocturnal blind freak. Um... No, they want you to fuck. The, they want you to fuck. They want you to want to fuck the bat. It's weird. Is what it is. It's yeah. It's pretty. It's kind of a lot of Sonic's energy, at least in like their like comics and and mags and like animation and stuff, which is weird. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have no answer for that. Um. <laughs> I mean, it has a fan base, so. Hey. Just don't don't really... need an answer. It works for certain people, I guess. Very dedicated fan base. Love that Sonic, even though there's nothing really given to the the fan base to 
like I, I, I get like being like a rabid fan for something that uh, a source that keeps giving you more material but something that's just like here's another bad thing you're like wow yeah this stinks that was the thing is I was wondering why there were so many people who were dedicated Sonic fans outside of like being a furry um, for like the longest time because it was like a solid 10 years or so where they just didn't give they didn't make any good Sonic games um, and I was like okay but like what's the uh, what's in this for anybody at this point like who's still sticking around and the original is not like the original is fun but it's not good enough to be like to have that much like attention just from those alone I mean they were pretty great I mean I, I think it depends because like I grew up as a kid playing Sonic games on the Sega Genesis so that. Um, the uh, Sega Genesis no um but yeah it's they're they're a lot of fun um I love the music I still listen to the soundtracks uh, but yeah I mean my dedication only took me so far where I was just like oh these suck now okay I guess I'll, I'll not play them and that was kind of the end of it so like they only had me on the hook for so long it's like oh they haven't made anything good in 30 years all right well I guess I'll move on yeah Oh wait, there was one other Sonic game. It was like they made a new 2D Sonic game recently, in like the last three years. Sonic Mania, that was the one. Okay. Um, that one was well received, and it had like an animation for it done by uh, that guy who did those those Sonic comics that really popped off. Um, Tyson Hess. Uh, he did uh, oh. an animation for Sonic Mania. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Game Sonic. features animated Sonic. opening and ending sequences. That's actually funny. That guy made those, like, really funny, like, Sonic comics that popped off on the internet that were just, like, nipples the echidna uh, and, and, and things like that. Um, and, like, that got him work drawing for the actual Sonic comics. That's funny. Which is pretty great, yeah. Let me ask you, if Archie Comics hired you to draw for the Sonic comics, would you? Sure. Well, there you go. You're a furry. Depends on... No. <laughs> <laughs> Depends what the job consists of, I guess. It usually involves drawing, like, really wildly detailed hands. Um, I don't know, I haven't read the Sonic comics since I like, was a child as well. Human so. bodies with, like, weird cartoon heads. That's right. No, their their bodies are still. It's like weird, like this, especially when I was reading them as a kid. Uh, the Sonic comics would have, like, the heads were the still the, the cartoony Sonics, the bodies were still the cartoony Sonics, but then their hands would be like, uh, all like veiny and like extremely Damn. detailed. Um, That's disgusting. Like, That's disgusting. yeah, it was like they 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 like drew the fuck out of those hands and then on top of like these like cartoony like circle bodies. And, and things like that, so, um, yeah, I was always, <laughs> uh, it, you know, as a kid, I was like, I would study those comics to, for like how to draw hands. Um, I guess that's a good source. Yeah. I mean, aside from just real life, real life is probably the best thing to study to nah, draw hands. Overrated. Overrated. I've never seen a hand in real life. I, I refuse to believe. I'm a hand truther i don't think they exist there's a lot of people with uh foot fetishes but wouldn't you be you'd be lucky if you had a hand fetish because like they're everywhere i see those yeah they're just out in the open <laughs> i think that's probably why you they're don't right like if people like hidden. hid their hands if people like wore then they'd big be like yeah, or to those yeah. It's like how back in the day, like, ankles were, like, a thing that would get people's rocks off, because, like, you yeah. just didn't, you know, you'd be like, ooh, woo, woo. It's the mystery. Exactly. It's, you gotta keep them. It's, uh, no one's got, like, a face fetish. It's because it's, like, one of the first, well, maybe now, I since, do. like, with the pandemic. <laughs> um, Boy, a nice face. I, woo! Without a mask? Oh, my God. That's fine. I, I'm attracted to somebody without a mask because that shows that they're they're so brave. Yeah, they're really sticking it to yeah the to government. Yeah, it's political. 
Those scientists. Fuck being smart. <laughs> Fuck being alive. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Yeah, I see a lot of commercials that are like... There's been a lot of commercials, especially like in the last month or so, where it's just like, when you finally give that person a hug again, like they're kind of like uh, preempting the yeah. end of like lock, like people not having to like hide away from the world because of like pandemic and things like yes. that. And I appreciate the optimism, but I'm still just like, I don't know, it ain't over yet. <laughs> like, let's not, let's not be too hasty they're here. They're selling to people's hopes. Yeah. It's like uh, back when like the first lockdown happened, the, like I would see commercials like around June that were kind of like acting like the pandemic was gonna be over soon. Yeah. And I was like, I appreciate the optimism, but uh, you guys, people are real fucking dumb. I don't know. Uh, and uh, here we are. Donald Trump said it'd be over by Easter. Um, Maybe well. Last Easter, Easter but. Yeah. I mean. You know. The, who knows which Easter he meant? Maybe that was our fault. We got mis we got misconstrued right. which Easter he was talking about. I mean, if I'm if uh, a lot like half the population of the country is to be believed, he's a prophet. So he yeah. he's a businessman, a visionary. He plays 4D chess, and you know, boy, we're he's secretly pulling the strings still. I've been told. He's a shadow president for sure, man. He's just yeah. there, really operating the government and like arresting people secretly and we'll just find it all out by the time you see, uh, it's all already happened. Donald Trump is not a man that likes fame or attention. That's why he's no. doing it from behind the scenes. Like the Wizard of mm -hmm. Oz. Exactly. Man behind the pay, curtain. No, pay no attention to him because he is uh, shadow banned on, or he's banned on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, boy, oh, gosh. gosh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Twitter sucks I, anyway, but just I feel like he could so easily just like scream into the void in, in a way that we'd all still have to put up with it, but he like he lost his Twitter and he's like, "Well, I guess I can't ever talk to anybody again." Like he just disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> it's like It's it's funny too because yeah, he's been like, "I'm going to make my I'm going to make my own Twitter." And everyone's just kind of like, "Sure, Jan. All right. We'll We'll keep an eye he, out for your on Twitter. I bet you he will do something like that, like his own news channel or his own social media he's, thing, like his own like like, yeah. like parlor type thing. Yeah, he's definitely gonna try and set up his own like echo chamber of some sorts. But uh, how that how that pans out will remains to be seen. I'm just so happy that he's off Twitter because like. And also that he's not president anymore. But, like, uh, for at least, like, most days, I don't have to think about him anymore. Yeah, and that is so nice. It's I've been great. really enjoying it. My, my blood pressure has gone down somewhat. It's Yeah, my, I've, I've calmed down a little. Like, I, I don't wake up in a cold sweat every morning. Just most mornings. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know. There's still a lot anyways. of doom scrolling, but it's gone down a little bit. There's like a little, there's like tinges of hope in the doom scrolling. It's it's there, although, uh, thankfully I, I got off Twitter like a while ago too, and I, I felt a lot better since I stopped doom scrolling on Twitter. Oh, are you did you delete your account? I didn't delete my account. I like I still post art on there occasionally. Gotcha. Yeah, I just don't look at it. I check it way less. There was this past year, I checked it like 30 times a day and like drove myself crazy. Yeah. I was driving myself too crazy, and I was just like, "No, nah, this this is not healthy for me. I don't feel good." Right. So I stopped, and uh, I feel better move. for it. Yeah, for sure. Leviathan Den in the chat. Welcome, Leviathan Den. They say, "What an asshole! I'm late. You can never forgive me." All right, if you insist. All right, you. I was we, gonna I forgive him, but you said, oh, yeah, they was... said we couldn't, and I'm I'm not totally go willing and ready. Him. Yeah. So, uh, get the fuck out of here. Get out of my sight. You make me sick. Pooey. That's me spitting. Get out of here, but keep subscribing. But get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Happy to have you. Yeah. It's always a pleasure. 
We um, are drawing wrestlers. Because we watched WrestleMania. It's funny, like, we were talking, like, because uh, because of, we, we couldn't watch WrestleMania the night it happened. Uh, we were, like, debating how we were going to get everything set up, and, like, we were like, well, we don't want to sit down and watch wrestling, all of WrestleMania in one sitting. But that's just what we did, because we were having such a good time. I was okay with it. I just didn't know if everybody would want to. Oh yeah, I, I, like when we were talking, like when we were setting up the plans for it, I was just like, I don't know, eight hours of wrestling sounds like a lot. And then like we watched, like when it came time for us to actually watch the wrestling, like by the time the first night was ending, I was just like, no, I don't want it to end. So we just moved right yeah. on to night two. It was great. Uh, yeah. Extra Attack RPG is in chat as well. Says draw bomb, draw bomb. Correct. You are in the right place. Yeah, you have and, you have found the right room. And Leviathan Den says, "I'm buying a new truck tomorrow for hauling hey. things." Hey, that congratulations nope. on the new ride. I hear they're great at hauling things. It's kind of their main shtick. Yeah, they they they're good for hauling. When you say when you surround the hing, the the word things with ellipses, though, it, it almost like yeah, sounds it's, like it's now these mysterious. things are contraband or something like that. It's right. like. Are you a smuggler? There's like shifty eyes. You don't have to out yourself on Twitch, you know. But if you are a smuggler, just type into the chat, um, yes, <laughs> and then we'll know. <laughs> That'll be our code word. Is uh -huh. uh, <laughs> if we ask you if you're smuggling contraband, if you say yes, that's the code word. We'll know exactly what it means. Yeah. Um. Extra Attack RPG says, "Oh, that's what you guys were doing. I was gonna pop in, but I didn't want to interrupt anything serious. You, c we were drunk as far a skunk. From serious. We were betting dollar bills on wrestling matches and watching Bed Bad Bunny do the Canadian Destroyer on homies. Um, we were having a good time. It's good. You could have joined. Yeah. You could have popped in and watched WrestleMania with us. We did it for eight hours, or like I think it was actually closer to seven. Yeah, Maybe shot about... sh just shy of seven. About seven. But, uh, I feel, yeah, no, it was fun. I feel like they really got it, like, nailed down, like, how the format works, though. Like, three and a half hours felt like the perfect amount of time, I think, for a single night of wrestling. And then, mm -hmm. you know, because we felt yeah. like watching both of them in, in the same sitting, we just did that. But It was good. I had, I had yeah. fun. I had a fucking... It was everything I hoped would... Like, we watched WrestleMania last year uh, doing the same exact thing. And then when it was coming up this year, I was like so pumped because i had so much fun last year and honestly i had even more fun all over again so it was great I had a good time and also something we're both excited about they announced <laughs> the next <laughs> wrestling game and yep. we don't own any of them but we're gonna get the next one and we're gonna eventually it will probably be like a while from now but when it comes out gonna yeah. stream some uh some fights and design some characters for it and i think that'll be fun yeah we we're talking to try like to make basically the draw guy maybe looking kind of like this drawing here in oh, the middle we could definitely get him get him built like we can we can make a round ass head that looks yeah, i don't know what they let you do but like at the very least you could probably do like a motorcycle helmet and like put his face on it or something we could there's i would be surprised if we couldn't make an actual head that was shaped like a draw bomb i've seen like what people like what monster factory does or what was are they called monster factory um those guys who make like monsters in create a character in a features yeah in a factory um but yeah like we were talking like we would make our own division and like have like do commentary as like the computer fights itself with like our wrestlers that we made just we have a lot of fun ideas that we have in the and for whenever that wrestling game comes out and i'm ready for it like the moment it comes out i want us all to have a copy of it downloaded. <laughs> yeah i think it'll be fun it'll be some good streaming yeah absolutely but yeah wrestling is a good time um yeah i don't know i think i think that cage match was my favorite um yeah it surprised me. I wasn't expecting him to really like that one. It was like one of my favorite matches. Yeah, I really, I did really enjoy the Bad Bunny match because uh, I thought the heels of that match were doing a great job of being the heels. Like they were just really selling it. They were. Um, that dude's fucking hair was the winner of WrestleMania in my opinion. Um, he had like a like an '80s 
rocker mullet thing, mohawk thing going on. Yeah, I wanna I wanna find out that dude's. Uh... He would fit well in the post-apocalypse or like the eighties. I don't know. I don't know. It was it worked. Live to Den yeah. says I scored vinyl copies of Operation Doomsday, Mad Villainy, and mm, Food finally for my record player. That's awesome. Those are, that's uh, some, uh, that's those are great uh, albums. MF Doom, is that right? That's right. That is okay. correct. Um, nice. I'm yeah. Happy that I was able to guess that correctly. <laughs> I'm looking up the dude with the hair on Google Images right now because that hair was something to behold. Um, of course, there's no up-to-date images of that hairstyle because uh, you know he pulled it out just for a strictly WrestleMania. Oh. Um, otherwise, his hair looks very normal. It's oh. just long hair. Well, that was a good move. Uh, yeah. I've been collecting some vinyl as well. It's it's fun to do. I don't I don't know I don't know why, but I, I enjoy it. It's um vinyl's good. I mean, it's a lot of fun having like a good vinyl collection. Yeah, like, yeah, it's my fucking vinyl. I I know it's like I feel like I'm just becoming more and more of a hipster, but I, it's <laughs> it's it's fun. It's the it sounds good. It's I like being forced to listen to. I know, like, you can just open Spotify and, like, listen to a full album, but it's kind of nice, like, just be on one album. Yeah. Um, and, and Plus, like, uh... The artwork is cool. They're, like, I feel like each, like, sleeve is kind of like a piece of art sometimes. That's fun. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's, like, you can... And they're huge, too, so, like, you can really, like, fit... Display them. ...a really nice... A nice, like, artwork on those things. And, like, a lot of uh, records will also, like... Sometimes the records themselves are very artistic and, like are colored yep. or have like patterns on them sometimes like the the inside the record sleeve there's like booklets of like even more art and things like that yeah uh, you can really cool. like do up the whole all the packaging and stuff like that you can really make it pop but uh yeah i've been having fun collecting it myself um i just wish i, I knew music a little records. bit better because like i'll go to a record place and i'll like dig around and i'm like i don't even know what i'm really looking for i'm just waiting to like find something cool but I wish I was like one of those people that really knew their shit, because I could probably yeah. find some some goodies. I mean, you've got like a pretty solid record collection, so I feel like you'd know good classic music. Um, yeah. But a lot of times, like if I'm if I'm feeling like spicy, I'll uh, go to like a record store, especially because like records you can buy them for like two bucks, and like I'll just like pick the ones that have like artwork that looks best to me, and I'll be like, hey, yeah, let's go home and listen to this. this I should do that. I should do that. Um, Life and Den says, I think there's just something jazzy about coming home from a long day of work and having to pick, actually pick an album to listen to, sitting down to draw, or having a glass of whiskey with. Yeah, I totally agree. I, if I ever have the space, I'd love to kind of like have a room yeah. set up for that. If I ever have like a, a full, I kind of have a like studio a now, but it's not the best. But if I ever have like a studio, I'd like to kind of have like a sitting area with like my record player, a record player in there too. Like a good, fun. like, a den area, you know, where you're just, like, it's a good place to, like, lounge and hang out. Yeah. It's got a record player and, like, a sweet collection. I had a, I just, a I was, Sorry, go ahead. Well, I just don't have a record player. I have a bunch of records, although I don't know where they're at. I don't know if I gave them... I forget if I gave away my record collection because I don't have oh. a playing with. If I didn't, they're in a crate somewhere. Nice. Um, I don't know. Um, um, but they're fun. I, yeah, I, uh... I had a buddy back home who he he made a den for re like listening to records and I think smoking weed, but but uh, oh, yeah, that's like you kind of do both in the same area. He designed it. It was, like the way he set it up was awesome. It looked like he stepped into the seventies. Like even the even the furniture in there, and <laughs> everything was like old, and like the art on the walls was like old. It just like like the walls Fantastic. were like the carpet was like shag carpeting. Like, just everything about this room was, like, the perfect hangout space for listening to records. <laughs> that's how you do it, though. Like, that's I the thing, is if I wanted one. to set up, like, a, a record listening den, I would also want it to be almost, like, 70s or, like, vintage decor. Um, it's, you know, it's like a, it's, it's, you gotta set, like, an ambiance. I'd, have, I'd probably put some lava lamps in there, maybe a bean yeah. bag. Yeah, for sure. Maybe one day I'll have, a. Uh... 
It'd be cool to like have like a finished basement with like a bar and like a like a place to listen to records or something. I, I don't know. Who knows? It's a maybe, Midwest thing to want a bar in your basement. I'm not sure. Maybe one day uh, maybe one day I'll own property and it's not just a plot of land for my grave. Um, <laughs> well, you know, that's the ultimate place to, to relax. That's true. That's where I'm going to listen to all my records is Leviathan, after death. Leviathan Dunn says, I'm looking to invest in a wooden Sonos record player that attaches to speakers via Wi-Fi throughout the house. Ooh, that's awesome. It's just like a $900 investment to start, but... Quality's unmatched with proper record motor and true ceramic needle. Cool. Yeah, that Nine, sounds awesome. Nine hundred dollars to start. What's to finish? You know, like what? I feel where like is any that of that, the... all that kind of stuff usually is like when it's like a hobby, like purchase. It's like it can always be more expensive. You can just keep upgrading. Yeah, that's what I found. You can just keep adding. It's stuff like my to computer it. setup. He said about four grand for a master setup. <laughs> God. You better like music. <laughs> you better you better use that equipment, pal. Don't <laughs> don't spend all that money and then be hey, like, you spend oh, your money on what you it. want. No, don't, listen don't to us. Let Ian tell you how to spend spend your, your, your money on you us. Stretch. You work hard for the money. You work hard for it, honey. And <laughs> you know. Uh sleep at night. Uh, sleep at night. Treat you right. I you know, it's, for the money. Get a Donna Summer, Summers uh, album first that you can play, <laughs> and it'll encourage you to spend your money and not feel bad about it. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then when you are finished listening to that album, you can take the record off of the record player, and it'll sound like this. <laughs> Anyways, I was, that was wow. me. See, yeah. you're, you're experiencing the issue I had when I first got my soundboard. There's a lot of potential, and you don't, you know, it's hard to just dive <laughs> into the pool. There's like so much I could do. And like, I have like a list of sounds. I gave you a list of sounds when you first got your soundboard. Now I have my own list of sounds that are all different than the sounds I told you to download. Yeah. So. You save the good one for yourself. Our cup Power. runneth over. Powered. Uh, right. Well, my thing then says, if I keep subscribing, I'll be broke. Oh no. Oh, well, no. you know, we wouldn't want you to be broke. Wait, uh, I don't want to be broke though, so. Um, oh, right. You know. So actually, you know. What's. What's a It's all bucks? just stuff, man. Like, give in, us your in, money. Yeah. You know, do the Buddhist philosophy where possessions are just a weight, an anchor dragging you down. Draw bomb um, is a religion and we demand 10%. That's right. We want our tithe. <laughs> um, no, we honestly, though, we appreciate. Yeah, we do appreciate you subscribing. You know, you're, 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 we appreciate it yeah that's right um and if you wish to become a part of our hollowed h-a-l-l-o-w uh community of the draw bomb uh religion uh you can find our address at there you go that's where uh, you can send, find us send us uh you know checks in the mail and we promise that you will get you Boy, when you die, you're gonna be psyched. You're gonna have a great time. Yeah, you're gonna. It's gonna be great. You're gonna get to see. <laughs> why is this all? <laughs> why is this oh. all? Blue? <laughs> well, you have to get uh, to. You have to get to level 14 to hear you have to get to all level the great 14. perks that you'll get. You can only. Uh, you can only ascend to level 10 if you're on the International Space Station, um, which Brandon and I both did. Yeah, uh, definitely. 100. percent Boy, um, the earth looks great from up there, right? It's like a big blue marble is what I say. I was surprised that all the flat say. earthers were right, you know? I, I really yeah. thought they were idiots all the time. You could just see the water cascading off the edge of the earth where all the waterfalls are. Yeah. Uh, Leviathan Den says, does this marketing ploy actually work? Well, Leviathan Den, you're subscribed right now, so I'll, you be the judge. Yeah, if, if, if there's anyone to ask if our marketing employees have worked on, it's the man with the four-month subscription. You know, look at yourself in a mirror and say, uh, did it work? And then if the mirror responds to you, um, you might need help because your mirror should only follow your mouth The mirror shouldn't movements. respond to you until level... <laughs> That's level right. 16. 
Uh, and you can unlock that level by having your mirror respond to you. It's very, like, it's almost like tautological, the way it works, this religion. Um, it's very fancy. And it's definitely a religion, not a cult. Um, well, no, definitely. No. Don't, yeah. Our lawyers have said not to even use the, the C word. Uh, oh, shit, that's right. So it's it's definitely a religion and not a... <laughs> so. There you go. There we go. Fixed it. We'll fix it in post. What do, what do we call our religion? Or our followers? Drabology? Drology. <laughs> Dr uh, yeah, uh, bomb drology. <laughs> I like I like drabology or one of I don't know. Does that this, this sound too scientific? Well, that's because it is very scientific. Draw biology. <laughs> Drabologist. Dr Drabolicism. There you go. Oh, my brother's cat's out the window. I'll be right back. Gotta let the cat in. We should, we're gonna have to flush this out a little bit more. I think we really got something here, you know? I'm ever so sorry. Is My brother's a uh, cat. What was that? Is that C-3PO? Uh, yes, that's C-3PO. Oh, boy. I feel, I feel like this background color is not the best one because I made the chair and the guy's legs like the same color. Um, it's fine. It's like they're, rece it's like they're sort of fading into the background but are still noticeable. Also, I was going to put like camera flashes and maybe like some signs behind it or something. I don't need. Well, I'm gonna leave you alone while you use the bathroom, so. Oh Good luck no, I just back. left. Oh boy, oh boy. Here we are again. I have folks. to let my just... cat in the window. I'll be right back. I did let a cat in the window, though. That makes you, you sound like you're making it up, but I did. Uh, he's gone already. Okay. Well, here we are. Once again. Um, here I am again on my own. Uh, so since the road I've been on. Yeah, um, what is that, White Snake? Po sound off in the chat if, if that's White Snake or not. Um, and if you want, you can always put some lips in the chat too. I don't know if uh, our viewers have noticed, but now the channel points on Twitch are lips. <laughs> because we are. Further cementing that as part of our uh, a running thing we do that I don't even remember why it started, but lips in the chat, everybody, um, and pretty soon lips in the chat will be an actual feature <laughs> that will do set various things. Uh, White snake, thank you. Yes, white snake. What did I say? White. I said, did I say white snake? What did I say? Anyways, white snake. Yeah. Um. Boy, oh boy, we have some wonderful things planned for this this here show that we do every week, though. Including having two hosts, uh, me and then a another person who, uh, they're currently at the bathroom. Um, boy, oh boy, WrestleMania, though. Snake Whites. Yeah, I, whenever I, uh, I start off every breakfast with some Snake Whites. I don't keep the Snake Yolks because those are uh, not as healthy from my understanding so just the snake whites uh, makes pancakes with those um, boy oh boy wrestling we're just we're just drawing wrestling we're just talking wrestling this is a very wrestling themed and a uh, vinyl themed episode so far with what we've discussed in seen and and talked uh, and talked about and uh gosh i'm just spinning my wheels here um you know what it, what what were you guys up to last night when you were when we were watching wrestlemania what were you folks doing with your sunday nights um 
because I don't know about you, but I was watching WrestleMania. Um, truck shopping and silent weeping into my hands. Well, I know how that goes. Whenever I'm going looking for a truck, I just have to take a moment and really process emotionally the, the majesty of those beautiful trucks. You know, when I when I see the all-wheel drive on that Ford blankety bloop, I'm just overcome with its beauty, and I have to just weep. And then when I get inside my truck, I weep once again because I see that there are no worlds left to conquer. Um, that's what I do. It's a very emotional experience buying a new truck. Whoa. That snapping, snapping of that beer. I'm back. Just sh shut, rocketed right into my eardrums and my brain. Sorry about that. How is peeing? It's great. I feel relieved. Good. Uh, and, you know, that's about it. Okay. Life and Den oh. says, I'm about to spend 34 grand tomorrow. Uh, yeah, that's... Uh, that's more money. That's about the amount of money I make. I made in a year at the credit union. It's a chunk of change. So, so, you that's, know, that's, that's that's what you buy. A, that's how much a truck costs. <laughs> that's a truck for you. What kind of truck you get? I don't know a ton about vehicles, but I know next to nothing about vehicles. But I sure did get people to take loans out for them. I'll tell you one thing I know about vehicles that I think most people will agree with is uh, they definitely go vroom vroom. They go vroom, all right. They occasionally go beep beep too. Uh, beep beep, beep beep. Vroom vroom. Beep 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 beep. <clears throat> they do those noises. Yeah, it's true. So. Brandon, uh, yes. do you, can you? It's your voice is sounding a little a little funky, funky. Is it? Do you have Am a I... voice changer effect on, or is I don't my internet? Believe doing that so. Thing again? No, my. I do not have one on, but. Do the people in the in the chat tell me if my voice sounds like trash? The little vocody is all. I'm not sure. It happened uh, huh. shortly after you uh, came back. It could be my internet doing the fucking shit again that it was doing earlier. 2021 Silverado 1500 Custom 2.71 Twin Turbo V6. Well, that sounds cool. Interesting. Right. I, uh, see, when you say Silverado, all I can think of is the Canyon Arrow from The Simpsons. <laughs> Canyon Arrow. I, I really like, uh, I'm not a big, like, new vehicle person. I mean, I, not because I don't like them, just because I don't have the money. But, uh, I, I really like, they just brought back the Bronco, and, you know, who doesn't want to drive what OJ drove? But, but it, it looks awesome. It looks cool with like the new Bronco. Like if I was gonna get a new vehicle, that's what I'd get. You'd get the Bronco. Mm -hmm. You should look it up. It looks really cool. It looks fun. It's kind of like a Jeep meets like a like a pickup. It's pretty cool. A new one. Let me look it up here. But maybe I'm just like a, a loser. Maybe I'm like the type of people that buy a, a, oh. a, a Hummer and think they're cool. Looks kind of like a Jeep almost, but it's a truck. Yeah, that's that, that's what I said. <laughs> I think that looks cool. I like that. Yeah, I don't mind it. I don't know shit about cars. I, I don't worry. I don't pay attention to cars too much. I tried to, like, learn about cars when I was playing Forza Horizon with Austin. Yeah. Um, but in general, I don't pay a, ten a lot of attention to car makes, models, all that stuff, because... Uh, I don't like to drive. I am a danger behind the wheel, and so therefore I try to limit my exposure to being behind one. I like um, to drive. I like vehicles. I don't really know a ton about them. I Certain vehicles I do think are interesting, but I'm kind of bored by what vehicles look like these days. The majority of them are all just like round and like bland yeah. to me to look at. There's exceptions, of course, but... but uh, yeah, the majority of like vehicles I see on the road these days are just like boring to look at to me, so I just don't care that much. Yeah. I get that. I feel that. I like some hard edges and some like 
dramatic shapes and stuff. I don't I don't just like everything being like like looking like marshmallows. I want some cyberpunk ass cars, you know? Yeah. I want some cars that look like I I can win them in the season track in Rocket League, you know? There you go. That's what I want. That's a game I That's the car I'll drive. Time. Yeah, they just released uh, season three, which I could have sworn they were on like season twenty at this point, but maybe hmm. I don't know Rocket League very well. I'm not sure. When did Rocket League come out? Because that's been like a, long time a ago. big. Yeah, it feels like it was out when the PS3 was a thing. Now they're already talking about the PS5. Um, Epic owns it now, right? I'm pretty sure they do. I thought, I thought they Epic. Are. I, I mean, they could. I can go back and play some of that. Hey, I mean, it, I, I'm not I'm not a big Rocket League guy, but I do know that Austin and the others in the uh, Discord for all of our friends, I do know that they have uh, put in like some serious hours practicing. I, I'm not very good, League. but I mean, I'm decent, but I'm not like the people that can fly around and hit the ball. Yeah, I can't do I'm that. Not to that level, but I, I, I put in many hours. I, I played a ton of that. It was like a game me and my brother used to play a lot. Um, Leviathan Den says, uh, "Have I shared my recently found new favorite make-believe character last time?" I don't think so. Does that ring a bell to you, Ian, at all? Um, not that I can think no. of. I don't think no, so. No, I don't believe you have. Doesn't ring a bell, but you know what does ring a bell? Um, you. <laughs> my soundboard. Anyways, um, whoa, you have the same sound, don't you? No. That wasn't oh. me. Oh, that was my that was my soundboard still. Yeah, you you kept doing it. Oh no, I I pressed it once. I guess that sound just has like an extra two dings at the end of it. Uh, surprise! Whoops! Even I'm getting surprised by some of these sound effects. Wow, we. Wow, harkens, we. Wow. It, wow. <laughs> it harkens back to a day in the past. Let's all flash back now. Is that your flashback noise? It's not a great one. Uh, I need a, a, a harp. That's not harp. That's just it a harp. It needs to be more like dreamy of a harp. Yeah. It needs to be more like a, a vibraphone and like a slower glissando. And then totally. it's a then it's a, say a that. then it's a proper flashback sound effect. Love me a glissando. A good old glissando. I I eat glissandos all the time. A glissando <laughs> is just the uh, the Italian proper pronunciation of glizzy. I was just um, gonna say, do you think a glissando is a sandwich or? <laughs> I'm I'm uh. Always goblin gl glissandos. That's me. Leitha Den says, His name is Panikin Skywalker, so whenever someone mentions Sith or anything Dark Side related, um, his original script line voice goes up an octave and he becomes progressively louder and sweats profusely. You know? Panikin Skywalker. I like it. I Makes like sense. it. The Sith, they're scary. They have swords that cut you. I mean, I guess that's what all swords do, but like, it's like a. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it, the pretty much the. It glows in the dark. It's it's like a machine, and like they push you around with the hands. I mean, I guess everybody pushes you around with their hands, but like with the yeah. mind. <laughs> you can, you can, uh, you can really move with your feet. Um, wait, that's what all feet do. <laughs> um, you can really listen with your ears. Wait, that's what all ears do. Oh, oh my god. Wow. Maybe the force Maybe is just the force. having <laughs> all the senses of the human body. Uh, yeah, you have to have midichlorian. That's, that's right. You know, hey, you know, the force, how that's a fun thing? Let's make it not fun at all. <laughs> let's make it genetic, um, and let's make Boy. it a bacteria. Did, I, you know, I didn't watch the... Force the force uh, is the energy in the universe, but also, like, it's like, you can find it under a telescope if you want to. Not a telescope, I, uh, microscope. 
Yeah, like a weird little blood test. Like if you you can measure for the force the same way you can I mean, measure for diabetes. You might need a telescope because the galaxy is far, far away. Am I right? Very far, far away <gasps> galaxy. Hey. Over there. hey yo. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> yeah, watch it's out. Lose an arm. Um. Uh. You know, I, I didn't watch the, all of the new Star Wars movies. I just watched the very, very first one, and then I just never got around to watching the rest. Do they bring up midi chlorians ever? ever no, again? I don't. I don't think so. If if they did, I missed that. I don't. I think they realized that was a mistake. Because apparently, okay. So I was doing an article about the Jedi. And uh, I actually need to like write some articles. I'm really behind on my quota, but um, the uh, I did some research into like the Jedi and stuff. So it's because I was supposed to basically talk about how fucked up the Jedi are. Um, and uh, so I looked into like just as like a sort of like side like track rabbit hole thing. I started looking up midichlorians. And like apparently in like the Clone Wars cartoon, they went to the planet that midi chlorians come from at some point or something like that, or I don't know exactly. But uh so like the the cartoons and like stuff apparently kept up that midi chlorian yeah. stuff and even expanded upon it. But it's nice to know that the, excuse me the uh, the movies were just kind of like yeah nah. <laughs> That's that stuff. We don't need to get into the stuff. bureaucratic aspects of the of the force. It's just um, like the force is cool as like a mysterious thing, and then as soon as you're just like, it's a bacteria in your blood. It's just and, like okay. And the whole vibe they're building now. before that is like, hey, it's the energy that like connects us all throughout the universe, and like, you know, some people like the energy is good energy, sometimes it's bad energy, and then other people are like, what? Well, I can explain it on a whiteboard if you want. And it's like, uh. <laughs> Oh, no. Please don't. <laughs> uh, Extra Tech RPG says, I just spent 40 minutes on hold with the government. What a nightmare. Yeah. Oh, my God. Not ideal. It's like it's like the DMV, but on the phone. That's like when I tried to get signed up for healthcare after I quit my job. I was like, oh, God. You put all that work in, and then the health care that you end up getting is like... Covers. Not the best. Shit. Yeah, I actually need to, like... I'm like getting charged nothing for my healthcare, and I don't understand that. And I've tried to like get to the bottom of why that's happening because it doesn't make sense to me. Um, so I'm just like expecting at any point I'm gonna get like a letter in the mail being like, uh, "You owe us like ten thousand dollars," and I'll, I'll be like, "Fuck." Yeah, no big deal. Just pull that out of your wallet. Uh, Leviathan yeah. Den says they didn't they rip the same Star Wars subject on this in Robot Chicken, and I'm sure they did. I, I feel like we're certainly oh, yeah. not the first people to make fun of it. Nor will we be the last. You know, we're just so on the top of it, talking about, like, we're just ripping on the Star Wars movies that came out in 2001. <laughs> um, about time you know, somebody finally gave them some shit. You, you know, know, it's been 19 years. It's I about know, time we finally just unpacked what happened in those movies. I know they're well-loved movies, uh, you know, the Especially those the prequels. prequels. But, uh, we're, you know, we're not scared of upsetting the norm we're gonna say it how we you know we're gonna say what we think yeah i mean disney and their omnipotent glory never makes a mistake especially not with star wars um especially because they didn't own star wars at the time when those movies came out right but extra um, attack rpg says I had to get a replacement unemployment debit card because they lost my direct deposit info randomly i sincerely wish my industry didn't collapse because of the pandemic yeah Oh, That's yeah. no fun. My industry was... My uh, day job was closed for about half a year. So that was... It was a strange year. Yeah, and then they got you sick. And then... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure did. I uh, I read an article that was like most of the... Like there's like a, been a fourth surge of COVID cases. And the article said that with like tracing and stuff like that, they found that most of the newest surge came from like restaurants it's just like, yeah, big no surprise. Shit. Like, yeah. Big surprise. Uh, and also, like, Michigan's, like, the worst state right now. Yeah. And that's where I live. Yay! Yay! I'm surrounded by germies. Yeah. You're surrounded by plague rats. Our, our one name, like, stuff. we've... <laughs> yeah, you need to go to the Halloween store. 
Um, we've had like multiple like I our one neighbor has said like he has no intentions of like getting the vaccine and like uh mm -hmm. Kyle who has been in the chat very frequently has talked to somebody who has also said like they're not planning on getting the vaccine. Oh, and, a lot of people are not getting it. Yeah, and it's just like okay, well you're gonna ruin it for everybody. So I love how proud they are of themselves. Yeah. The bonus is that they'll mostly ruin it for themselves. They'll mostly ruin it for themselves, but then they'll also ruin it for, like, three or four other people. Right. And then, like... They'll still get a few, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, the the vaccine's, like, 90%, which is, like, very good for a vaccine. But, uh, you yeah. know, how long does it last? They're still figuring that out. and like How long it lasts and also the new variants and things like that. Right. Which the more people who get COVID, that's more opportunities more for variants mutate to... And... Yeah. Happen. Yeah. Fun so. stuff. Oh my god. Pandemics. All they have to do is Good. make like you have to be required to have it to like get on like a cruise ship or a plane and then everybody will get it because well they don't want to lose yeah. their vacation time. Exactly. That would be I'm horrible. Supposed to go to, oh my gosh. Uh, I'm just supposed I'm supposed to go to Acapulco in in two months and I swear to gosh, if I can't get on that cruise ship and eat that banana boat, what am I even gonna do? Eat a it's a boat, boat that they put they they put the it's like a bunch it's like they made a boat a pirate ship out of bananas and they put <laughs> like it in you the pool. started explaining that before i even questioned it because you're like they're not just gonna let this go that i said that i know i don't <laughs> anyway i don't know on. what a tell me about what eating a banana boat is so what you do is you take a big chocolate sundae and you put you you put it in the shape of a pirate ship and then you put it out in the middle of the pool, and then everybody's got to jump into the pool and try and eat the banana boat, but they can't only use their mouths. They can't use their hands and, and their legs and stuff, so... Um, so, so there's loose ice cream in the pool? Yeah. That sounds <laughs> disgusting. It's in a dish, but it's also the dish is in the pool, and the pool is heated, so pretty soon the ice cream and the dish become one. So you want to oh, kind of get it before that happens. Hey, my name's Tom from accounting. Um, <laughs> how's it going? Leviathan Dunn says, let's just open up more bars. That'll fix it. Yeah, I, I agree, you know. Boy, this is a real nice operation you got going on over here. What is this, like a streaming show? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't draw back. laughs> it's crazy that when I talk, Ian's mouth moves. I don't get how that works out. <laughs> You know, the miracle of science. The I know, AI it's like he's really... throwing his voice. Now drink a glass of water while doing it. Okay. Um. Hey, here we go. You know, I got COVID twice when I went to a bar in the same night. Um. Wow. 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 <laughs> wow. It's impressive. I know, right? You got skills, my uh, friend. You got skills. Um, you know, I took years in ventriloquism. If you... Okay, actually, okay. If you were going on a date with somebody and then you found out that they were ventriloquists, how well, much of, like, a deal breaker would that be? <laughs> so, initially, it would be points against them. But then I would require <laughs> them to show me. The, if, the like, upon, if upon seeing it, I'm actually if, I, if they actually find a way to be like, it's somehow impressive, then you're all right. But I think like just knowing it would not be, it would be points against you. Yeah, hundred percent. And then, you know, you spend the rest of your life when talking to people, they're like, "So what does she do?" And you're like, "Well, you know." She, she pretends to have conversations with a wooden is dummy. An artist of sorts. Yeah, she's a. I don't. Want she's to a performer. <laughs> she's all, oh, like a musician. Yeah, a lot like a musician. Actually, kind of like that. Yeah, yeah. You know how there's some musicians that are not very good. It's kind of like that. Um, Sorry if there's any ventriloquists in the chat. We're really yeah, racking our even... hard right now. Yeah, we actually have nothing against ventriloquists, except for pretty much everything about it. Um, <laughs> what a bunch of dummies, am I right? What hey! Freaks! 
Why don't you go back to Jeff Dunham's school for talking to your racist caricatures, huh? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Anyways. I don't. I think Jeff Dunham ruined it for everyone. I. I. Not that like ventriloquism is something that's ever been like really cool to me, but. Like, he's just especially, like, so hacky that it's just, like... <laughs> yeah. And and people... Uh, maybe this is, like, more hipster qualities, but, like, the fact that he's very well received by a certain demographic and I have to hear about him makes Do you me still hear about Jeff Dunham? Not so much anymore, thank God. But there was a good t chunk of time. There was a good period of time. Yeah, you come home for Christmas and then you're, my dad's, like... Have you seen Jeff Dunham? Hilarious. And I'm like, Dad, you too. You know, <laughs> right? I want to respect you, Dad. It's like a, it's like a zombie movie. It yeah, exactly. It's, exactly. It's like, oh my god, you were bitten. No, not you too. I just think Peanut's so cool. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go get the shotgun. It's gonna be, I should do it. <laughs> He's my dad. He's my dad. <laughs> dad! Go look at the puppets. Imagine <laughs> the puppets frolicking. <laughs> oh, I have a gun sound effect, but I didn't put it on my soundboard. Wait. Dad, imagine the puppets frolicking. <laughs> I really fucking wanted to get that job done. <laughs> <laughs> this is really hurting me. I don't want to kill my dad, but okay, here goes. <laughs> Whoa, did you have a grenade launcher too? That's amazing. Yeah. Wow. Where do you even get those? You know, I guess you just um, go to Walmart. And, you, and they're like, hey, do you have ID? And you're like, no. And they're like, all right, here's two. <laughs> yeah. All right, let me save this real quick. Uh, before we did all that, Extra attack said Jesus. Or, 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 oh, we wrote out. Does it really become a soundboard show? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. We knew that was gonna happen when we when I downloaded the soundboard. Ian just got time. his, so don't worry. It'll probably mellow we'll out to some degree, but uh, but not. Yeah. You know, it'll still happen a lot. But uh, until then, you know, let the good times roll is what I always say. That's right. Uh. Leviathan Den says, all right, friends, time for bedtime. Thanks for the laughs and good conversations always. Yeah, thanks for tuning in, yeah, talking to so us, much. and good luck with the new truck. That sounds That's right. awesome. You're going to go I room, room, and beep, beep as much as you want. That's right. Holy cow. Uh, you're going to fucking just, uh, just remember, whenever you're driving that car, just think of that Beatles song where they go, beep, 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 yeah. Uh, cause that's what so, I do whenever I'm driving a car. Is that the one where they like, go, baby, you can drive my car? Or is that a different Beatles song? That is song? correct. No, that's the same Beatles. Or is that a Beatles song? Am I is, thinking no, it's a different I think No, they're both Beatles songs, but I'm, I'm debating if it's the same song or if it's two different songs. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure it's the same song. Yeah. Baby, you can drive my car. You live really far. And y'all just got my car, my name. Beep, 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 yeah. Right? Why are so many Beatles songs so, like, Goofy. Well, because like before they like went on that trip to India and had the spiritual awakening and also hung out with Bill Withers, they were just like, you know, doing like the monkeys in like Beach Boys type shit, where they were just like, bang bang, like playing a weird twangy guitar and talking about like holding how hands. much I want to, yeah, holding hands and shit. Yeah, it's before they did ayahuasca and like saw the devil, <laughs> they uh, yeah exactly they used to sing about holding hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The devil has hands, and he uses them for holding. <laughs> <laughs> Name that reference. Uh, walk hard, right? That is correct. I had a sound queued up if you had gotten it wrong. Can I hear it? Is it a buzzer? Boo! You stink! <laughs> that was a good thing I guessed it right. That's correct, otherwise you'd have been admonished. Um, if you could be a wrestler, what sort of wrestler would you be? Should we do a Should we do a rock paper pencil of wrestling? We've done it before. I know that, but.
but it's been a long time. Oh, true. And I don't, I, I'm not against doing that. But I might, might just be cool just doodling for the rest if you're okay with that. It just I'm okay with that. It's good to me. We were talking about potential drunk. wrestling characters last night that we thought would be oh, yeah. fun. And a couple of my favorites were, uh, I think my one that I re if I like actually it's it's easy to come up with like a funny one yeah but if I actually was like got into wrestling and had to come up with my character I like the idea that I came up with of a, a time traveler from the future <laughs> oh yeah I thought that that would, yeah the time traveler from the future who is a wrestler it would be really fun would be a um, great one I also like the idea of the time traveler from the past. <laughs> who yeah. just calls out like wrestling tropes and things like that um what were some of the other like we he came up with the like idea of Hulk like Hogan, he's like what the hell happened <laughs> yeah um well, one was, i like the, the, a janitor <laughs> custodian a janitor that's right the uh cleanup duty guy um that was his his like entrance theme would be like someone going clean up on aisle four and then he comes out and he's got like a mop um, I'm actually gonna draw that guy right now. Okay. Um, I'll have to but uh, I'm gonna draw. I like the idea of being like my gimmick would be that like I'm a different character every five months, but then like I get murdered in a wrestling match, and then I'm a new character. <laughs> You're an actor or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was. <laughs> I've been trained in theater. And now I'm a wrestler, and then you just like different characters all the time. You think you're really good. I can't no wait to be on in... <laughs> Yeah, exactly. That's actually, that's a whole different wrestler right there, is a, right. the guy who thinks he's an actor, but he's actually bad at it. Overconfident. He like, talks about how he's classically trained all the time. You know what the, you know what that character's wrestling name would be? The Thespian. <laughs> Boo, you that's, that's... stink! <laughs> and oh what's that i hear the entrance music for the thespian i picture like a big maybe i'll draw him but i picture like a big giant buff dude with like the weird like shakespeare like frill around his neck and he's just like <laughs> no no nothing on his chest it's like shirtless but with that little stupid thing we have othello coming to the stage I like the idea of like their theme song being the inside the actor studio theme song. <laughs> That's the reason we'll never be wrestlers. Mainly physical. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because we would die. Yeah. Yeah, I would like break my spine the first day. Although we were, you know, as we were talking about when we were watching WrestleMania, like I would totally love to do like what Bad Bunny did, and like if I became famous. Like and I had the free time, I would just like start doing wrestling on the side as like for fun because it would be so fun to just like do like uh uh James Sterling who uh they do the the Jimquisition show um mm -hmm. they they do like luchador wrestling on the side too um like uh that's awesome that's like living the dream right there yeah that'd be um, awesome yeah just showing up in places where you don't normally people wouldn't expect you and like you know bad bunny did a, a really great job yeah, he did like doing that canadian destroyer logan paul also so are you drawing you <laughs> unfortunately but but on the fortunate side all they did was like kick his ass <laughs> yeah so that was pretty fun yeah, Logan. Yeah, Logan Paul did make an appearance, and I did consider just saying, being like, "We should just skip ahead." But he just sat there and then got his ass kicked, and like the entire crowd was just asking, for, like, they basically had Logan Paul there, and then Logan Paul was a piece of shit to the guy who had brought him there supposedly, and then the entire time, like when Logan Paul came to the ring, the entire crowd booed him, and then when it was the end, when the match was over, that Logan Paul just kind of sat and watched. He like said so. He did something with like the guy who beat the guy, the other guy, and then basically the entire crowd was just like kick his ass. And then like no, the wrestler no. was just like, "You want me to kick his ass?" So then he did like a stone cold yeah. stunner on him or something like that. 
And I was just like, you know what? I know it's a shame that Logan Paul didn't actually get hurt, but at least everyone fucking hates him. So, yeah. I don't know. We can only hope that he did get hurt a little bit. Yeah. Are you doing the thespian right now? Yeah. Or what would what would you name the uh, the actor wrestler? What, like what's the, the name? I'm, go I'm, go I'm going with that. Okay, cool. I don't want to like pigeonhole you right out the gate. Nah, you're good. Beep 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 yeah. Baby, you can drive my car. I'm pretty sure that's, that's the same thing. I think you're right. Extra attack says, I mean, he's a natural heal. Exactly, and I'm glad they embraced Yeah, that he is a natural heal. You know, like, they brought in... I, I'm an old man, so I've never heard of Bad Bunny, but I'm told he's a celebrity. Um, and... <laughs> yeah. They brought him in, and, uh... He, you know, a lot of times they bring in these celebrities, and they just, they're just there to, like, win and show off that they learned all the stuff. Yeah. For the show. And that's fun, but like I'm just glad they didn't do that with Logan Paul because that would have been real, a real oh, bummer. God. Bring him in and be like, yeah. "Wow, look how cool he is!" Like when I saw, like they did, like you were at the bathroom at the t at the time, but at the end of night one, they were showing like off the the portraits of all the people who were gonna be on in night two, and then like I saw Logan Paul, and I was just like, "Oh Jesus, is that Logan Paul?" And then Matt was like, "Yeah, he's he's in WrestleMania." And I was like, Jesus fucking Christ, I almost don't want to watch Night 2. Uh, but yeah, all they did was they brought him on, people hated him, and then he got stunned, and that was, that was the end of it. And then, you know, Bad Bunny, it looked like they were gonna do the classic celebrity thing where he just comes in, he wins. It doesn't look like, like, he didn't look like he should have won, but then he was pulling off moves, like, I know wrestling is fake, but like, you know, some of the acrobatic stuff, you really can't fake you have to just be acrobatic and stuff and he nailed oh. it like he well was... sure they're not actually like beating each other's ass but like he learned all yeah. the moves and stuff there's a lot of like choreography and like gymnastics and, like knowing how to land and stuff like 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 kind of like yeah stuntman shit that you have to learn and he and obviously he... took the time to learn it all because he was flying yeah. around he took he took like those hits very well like he there was like a lot of hits that he took too that looked like he did he did a good job like receiving the blows you know where it, like yeah, people were like sure. kick him in the face and i was like he did actually a pretty good job like a better job than some of the other wrestlers who were there because some of those hits looked like they connected more than the others um he did yeah. a good job he, he fucking nailed it i was impressed when i was looking up for the uh the picture of the guy with the crazy mullet haircut um which still wins wrestlemania for me um uh i just found like a like the articles were just like all talking about how impressively that bunny had done it's like yeah i mean that dude was arguably a highlight of uh wrestlemania was hit that, oh, that canadian wow. destroyer right there yeah that one dude like bounced off his head this is off of yeah. his neck it was wild to see i don't know how you even do that without killing yourself if you if if Most you if anyone is interested at. in seeing what a Canadian destroyer looks like, just YouTube it. I'm sure there's videos of people pulling it off, but uh, it do, it looks insane. It it doesn't look like it should physically be possible, at least not to survive it, or not to get injured for it. And that dude pulled it off. He did a great job. Yeah. It's uh, it was good. Yeah. I, most wrestling moves you look at and you're like, all right, I get. It's still impressive, but I get. How it was accomplished. Yeah. That one, I'm like, oh, that looks just <laughs> just gnarly to watch. Yeah. I don't know how you coordinate that, but uh, yeah, it was pretty good. It was good shit. We had fun. We had a good time. We were, you know, I wish that I had had a chance to run to the uh the the booze store to get more alcohol. Um, cause I did start to sober up by night too, and that was a bummer. <laughs> um, but it was still a good time, no matter what. We don't need alcohol to have a good time. No, of course not. <laughs> we don't need alcohol to party. <laughs> there's a, there's a, like, 
do you remember like a way long time ago when Funny or Die was just like a fledgling YouTube wannabe sort of thing? Yeah. Uh, and like they would get like skits done with like Will Ferrell and stuff like that. I remember yeah. there was this one sketch where they were doing PG porn, where it was uh -huh. basically they would set up like a porn pornographic situation, and then the video would just not be porn. <laughs> so like, they did one well, that was kind of like the. Uh, you, yeah, they have you, you might. But porn stars like do it. They have sometimes. So, like the first one they had was like two people like who were gonna like who they're working out in like or they were they were like construction workers. And then, like, the dude and the girl start to, like, hit on each other, and, like, it looks like they're about to have sex, but then the girl gets shot in the head with a nail gun and dies, and the guy oh just, like, like, oh, fuck, and he leaves. Um, but the other one that I watched, uh, which is more relevant, was, uh, it was, like, making fun of, like, the bang bus or whatever. So, like, it was, uh, these dudes in a van, and they, like, pick up these girls, and then, like, and it's, like, Craig Robinson is the one guy who's there, <laughs> and, uh, um he's like it looks like he's like hitting on the women he's like picking the one girl's dress up going like whoop whoop and then like she tries to like start hitting on him and he's like what do you think you're doing get off of me uh -huh. and then the girls are like uh like the girls are like clearly like bummed out because they thought that he was like trying to you know uh have sex with them yeah. and then at one point she's like come on like we have some we have some booze like don't you want to party and he's like no get it like that's when they like kick the girls are like get out of here we don't need alcohol to have fun and then like the dry like the camera turns to like the guy in the passenger seat and the guy in the passenger seat is just like you know what they say uh needing alcohol to have a good time is a sign of alcoholism and then it just cuts to craig robinson and craig robinson like goes my daddy died of alcohol alcoholism <laughs> <laughs> this is the funniest thing um i think of that i think of that line a lot actually when <laughs> he's like my daddy died of alcoholism <laughs> um i think of like when people say like you know you, if you need booze to have a good time and i just think of that that, that sequence scene. right there yeah that's funny very funny i'll have to look that up i highly recommend pretty sure it was called pg porn sounds about right which character are you making I'm making the, uh, the, I'm trying to think of, like, what a good wrestler name would be for a janitor, aside from the janitor. The custodian? Yeah, the custodian, or there's a, there's a the word cleaner. I'm specifically thinking of, um, the sanitation engineer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking you to the cleaners. It looks like this is gonna require some extra bleach. I'm gonna mop you up. Uh, or I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna mop you <laughs> around the, the, the fucking ring. If I, uh, he's like in the center, he's got like the microphone, and he's like, I wish somebody had brought some sawdust, and then he like looks to the crowd, <laughs> cause you make me wanna throw up. <laughs> <laughs> He only wrestles kids. He's like, fuck <laughs> it's bullshit. I'm the I'm I'm ready for promotion. I'm ready for an advancement in my career. What's the what would be like some trash stuff? Let's do some let's do like a scenario where the thespian and the sanitation engineer you know have to trash talk each other um i feel like the thespian has to just talk in like weird old english but i'm not i don't feel like i can improv that very good forsooth all right do you want do you want me to be the thespian and you'll be the sanitation engineer sure <laughs> okay now i'm not sure i can do the ye old english quite off the top of my head either off top um, but it's worth a shot, so. Um, the thespian has entered the stage after the sanitation engineer has walked into the ring. What happens? Um, he, he slips on a puddle and then the, the sanitation engineer walks up and puts down a wet sign. I say! Scrub boy! Hast thou left thine 
hazard in the ring. The ring. Uh, I, I don't know how to respond to that, honestly. <laughs> Perhaps thou art suited for a different occupation. Perhaps thou art in the, the wrong job. I don't know if I can improv the, the custodian engineer. <laughs> This is the opposite of yes and in. This is Yeah, this is this is stalling. No way. <laughs> this is me saying I no. No. I think that this wretched condition in which this stadium of WrestleMania is just proof positive that the sanitation engineer should Maybe be given a slip of the pink variety. Look, I don't want to stand all these big words you're throwing at me, but uh, you're standing in a pile of puke. I need to clean. Yes, and in this pile of puke, I see a resemblance to the visage in front of me. Whoa! I look. If I'm understand what you just said to me, I do not appreciate that. Uh. I, you know, you, you you think you're better than me or something? You little fancy pants. Yeah. I don't, I don't consider myself quite so high and mighty, but I definitely consider myself a fairer uh, <laughs> station yeah. in Lime. life than thou. Lime. <laughs> Thou art similar to the grime thou cleans up of thine floors. Whoa, look, I did nothing to, uh, you, to, to bring on this kind of antagonization that you, you, you push at me. I don't appreciate it. Uh... I am but a mere scribe of the, of, of the, the world for the stage. Wow. And thou art uh, uh, but a villain in my eyes. Man, we belong like in wrestling. We got the goods. We're so good at this. Does this look like it's like one of those like coveralls, but it's you know, sort of. Kind of looks like a, like a like a stripper Mario. It does kind of look like Stripper Mario, doesn't it? I'm trying to think of how to like, like I wanted to keep it in like that wrestler sort of vibe, but still like make them coveralls. Maybe if they went all the way down to the legs. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. <clears throat> Cause like my idea is that like his outfit would be like janitor coveralls, but made to look more wrestly. Yeah, maybe some sequins. <laughs> Maybe a big, uh, it's gotta have like a key card right a here that he uses. That he just like, oh, people in the face with. big ring of keys next to the key card that gets him access to like the, uh, the restricted areas. What, what, what would be the thespian's finisher? Um, the finale. Or the finale. Act, the act three, or the third okay. act. I don't know what's. I like that. I'm trying to think of like. I don't know enough about like <laughs> theater <laughs> to make these jokes. I, I I mean, yeah. I don't know. My my first thought would be like the Deus Ex Machina, but it's like uh, he like comes from the top rope and it's like a it's like a high flying move. But I don't know, like, I don't know enough about wrestling moves to be like, yeah, and then he does a sweet flip, and then he blurp, blurp, blurps. What were you about to say? I, I like the look of him. I would, I would watch that wrestler. <laughs> yeah. Like a, buff, like a buff, like, dandy-looking guy. 
You know, there is this wrestler that used to exist. I think it was played by the guy who played Doink the Clown, and it's there's a reason why he doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> but it was, there, there was a wrestler who uh, his whole gimmick was that he was like mentally handicapped, um, mm. and he would like come out onto the stage and he would just like wave at everybody like really emphatically. And I was just like, I remember what like seeing that and just being like, oh, yeah. this is bad. <laughs> Um, but he, you, your thespian actually looks a lot like him. Just, you know, if he had the frills, that would be like essentially what that guy looked like. I see. Um, but yeah, that dude was definitely a wrestler who existed at one point, And I remember seeing that and being like, yeah, that oh, well. probably, probably that's, my grade that didn't time. age well the moment it happened. <laughs> yeah. That aged like a dead possum. It's already gone bad. Something's already hardly awry. I say that, sanitation engineer. And then maybe the sanitation engineer has... is like what was that? His, his wrestling group was called like the cleanup crew. Ooh, some... that's good. I like that. Who else? Uh, who else would be part of the cleanup crew? Um, we got, uh, the gardener. The gardener? Okay, okay. Not really clean up, but I'm, I'm vibing with it. It's very much yeah, the, the uh, the day, the, it's, I feel like the window washer, be... that's what extra tech RPG says. I like it. <laughs> the window washer. I like maybe that. Maybe like. Maybe like the, uh, <laughs> there'd be like a guy with like a stick with a nail on the end and he's like picking up trash. Okay, okay. Like they're, they're like, service. that's very clean up crew. The street sweeper. Um, Although, the street sweeper. his whole prop is, is a vehicle. He just drives in on it and then he's a normal guy that gets out and fights. Yeah, that'd be like, you could have him be the street sweeper and then he's like, yeah, but at, you know, during the winter months, my wrestling name is the snowplow man. <laughs> um. I see. <laughs> RPG says, "Ian, this voice is insane." It is insane. Vast. You sound like uh, the, like uh, <laughs> the Undertaker's manager. Oh yeah, Paul Bear. Paul Bear. Which is a great pun, by the way. Like his first name is Paul. And then his last name is Bear, and he's the Undertaker's. Like, that's... Yeah. Ah, I love that shit. Undertaker! Undertaker! I don't know what he's talking about. It's, it's a great voice to listen to. It's a normal voice. I don't know what you're complaining about. Sanitation engineer! Wow. <laughs> the range. It's like a, I'm like a regular Bobby McFerrin over here, just hitting seven octave, octaves apart from each other, like moments apart. Truly impressive stuff. <clears throat> um, what would be like? Okay, so sanitation engineer, the thespian. They're both in the ring. They have tag partners. And their tag partners are not thematically similar to them. What do their names go? What's what's the th what's the sanitation engineers? What do you mean? So they don't have to be related at all? Yeah, they're just another. I'm basically just saying, what's another wrestler? Um. Boy, really putting me on the spot here. Uh. I'm trying to think of mine right now, too. <laughs> um, um, boy, that's such a lot long. That was a very long one. I kept, just kept going. I don't know. I already gave you all my good, my good uh, wrestler ideas. Damn. Um. Okay. So mine would be um oh you know what mine would be <clears throat> so uh i know they don't do uh they don't really do 
like intergender wrestling matches but my idea for like a lady wrestler would be like um uh, what's what's uh the column writer which her backstory would be that she's like basically the person who does the dear abby column or whatever you know Just or the like advice people... columns yeah the advice column um and like so she's got like a she like basically has like a whole bunch of like weird like stuffy sort of like clothing and wigs and then she just wrestles like that and then she's like ah sounds like your wrestler is just like a therapist like basically who writes for a newspaper the freud freud like it just looks like (laughs) now we're just getting into like (laughs) i say freud Appropriate name actually be the Freud. Like, the thing that people do to piss off Freud is just like talk about his mom, and then he's like, <laughs> "Son yeah. of a bitch, tell me about your dreams." <laughs> That's and his uh, his finishing move would be the dream catcher. <laughs> like you it. went a little Charlie Kelly there. I did a little bit. Are your cats making too much noise? Out of Well, you're so stupid! I say, I'm my finishing move is the dream catcher, where I will um fucking kill you with my finishing move, and then I'll make you tell me about your mother. That's the Freud. That's him talking about his own finishing move. He really um, loved his God, mom. We're so, you know? He really did. He, was, he just had some issues with his mom that he just could never quite get over. Mommy didn't make me peanut butter sandwiches that day for my lunch. He was in love with his no, mom. No, he was in love. Well, he's... He kept telling other people they were in love with their moms, which usually means, like, when you, you know, projection much. Yeah. Yeah, the whole really classic takes one to know one scenario. Yeah. Me, you know, uh, me thinks the the uh, therapist doth protest too much. I'd like if you're a custodian guy, like he has his keys on like one of those little like zip things that like retract back to you, but he like pulls yeah. it way out and then he's like swinging it around like like a fucking like a weapon. <laughs> yeah. Watch that. That'd be cool. In WrestleMania, that one lady did whip that other woman with her hair so wild. hard it actually cut her skin, which was pretty great. It was, I mean, you know, not not that we want to watch not, people get Yeah, injured, I don't like watching. It just was very dramatic. It was a dramatic yeah. moment. Like, that's what she used to win the match. They want and, it to look uh, real, and it it looks real, really real because it was that time. <laughs> yeah. She legitimately got, like her body damaged from that move and that's just impressive like you know i don't like watching people get actually hurt but you know in the name and all in the name of uh putting on a good show those women put on a damn good show really the match ended and it cuts to her like just like looking at it like what the fuck (laughs) yeah she's like holy (laughs) fuck it was very very good stuff that was that was the thing is that like the the WrestleMania we watched last year was good, but it was like this WrestleMania was very much more on like the sort of moments I guess. Like last uh-huh. year was a lot more just standard wrestling matches, but this one like there was a wrestling match where like the entire time this tiny dude is trying to reach this giant dude. That was who, awesome. I forgot about that one. That was fun. Yeah, he's like this just enormous dude who's standing there, and the whole time like the two dudes on the other tag team. Or basically like holding him down trying to keep him from tagging that guy and then um like they like eventually like at the very end he manages and like the whole time the guy's just standing there going like let me tag you just huge the hugest guy you've ever seen he's like um eight feet tall he was like eight feet tall and then finally like he, he, he gets tagged and he just comes and he just wrecks the other dudes and it was like it was cool because like there is like a clear there's like a through line throughout the match where like there was a payoff that was like you were sort of waiting for and then they gave you the payoff um and it just sort of like it made it more engaging for me like because like standard wrestling wrestling has been going on for what over 30 
for 40 like what since the 70s so like over 50 years now like probably longer than that you know, honestly but like you know very true yeah mainstream but uh you know there's only so many times you can watch people like fly around on each other and like fake punch each other where you're just like no yeah i get it you guys are pretending to hurt each other so like adding that sort of like narrative element to the yeah. matches makes them way more fun because then it's like you're watching a miniature movie um which i enjoy because like i like kung fu movies and like uh, some of the best kung fu movies are the ones where the scenes are like you know what like the character's trying to do and uh yeah, it just it adds like a nice little narrative element to the the matches, and it makes them more engaging because you're kind of like they set up moments. Like when the, with the cage match, like the guy's climbing out of the cage, and we're just like, "That's it, the match is over, it's done." And then the guy fucking rips the cage off, and then pulls the guy back into the ring, like through the cage. Like that was mm -hmm. phenomenal, and you couldn't do you can't do like a moment like that if it's just like a standard wrestling match. Like they set it up as uh, this guy who's like the he's vince mcmahon's son is that i don't yeah is that shane, who shane, shane mcmahon, McMahon is? yeah yeah so, so shane mcmahon is vince mcmahon's son and he's like acting like a real piece of shit and like he cheated to be able to do so well in the match because he's going against the the giant nazi who got caught up cut up by the propeller blades from indiana jones and in the Raiders of the lost <laughs> ark which when you said that that was the absolutely he looks exactly like that guy he was wearing the same <laughs> pants and everything um so like the fact that like they kind of like set up this moment where you're just like what's gonna happen shane's up against this huge guy oh shane uses his background like his like connections as the owner's son to cheat and then he's gonna win and then the guy like just uses his brute force to r literally like rip the cage open and pull him but like that's a it's like there's a there's beats to it you know and it, yeah. it, it made it so much more fun so it's cool to see them sort of embracing that a lot of matches that are just like you know they're doing all the moves and it's like it's like a tug of war of who's who's winning who's losing and then somebody wins in the end and you're like ah okay but but yeah. i like the ones they have that have kind of a narrative to it it, it works a lot better for watch. the format i think yeah because like they're already like doing storylines like they're all like every match is like they have a beef for a reason that they spend like the entire season sort of setting up yeah. and then um you know when you have like the actual fight itself then have that sort of same narrative element to it it just like nice it makes touch. the payoffs yeah it's, it's so easier much easier to get fun. invested in yeah because it, it becomes like and like the thing is like with wrestling because it's not a movie they can really just do whatever they want so it's almost like you're almost able to get more surprised than a lot of tv shows because a lot of tv shows you're just like they can't they're not going to kill off the main character unless it's like that kind of show where anyone can die which that's kind of becoming a lot more in vogue lately but there's a lot of shows where you just know like this guy's not going to die he's the main character um and that's like it kind of like takes away that sort of like excitement and like that sort of uh element of surprise to the thing but because wrestling it's kind of low stakes because like what they'll be back next year anyways it kind of does allow for like anything can sort of happen in these things so it becomes legitimately surprising yeah yeah it's, yeah so like like you said those those matches that like really have a clear like kind of story to them those are really interesting yeah i like that his mop is like short like weapon sized mop <laughs> yeah and it's not a fuck up on my part at all oh is that not intentional no but you know what uh i was gonna I like add it, more like, from to a it. character design point of view i like like it like a, a short mop that yeah that he could like spin around with his hands stuff uh, i mean granted I like, like a that... full-size mop you could do that with but yeah I like to yeah, imagine like, that it's actually like a secret nunchuck and like he can break it in the middle and like swing it around like a like a um that'd be cool I say sanitation two, two very small what? mops connected with the yeah. chain um like a double lightsaber and I want the mop to just be like soaked the whole match it's just like <laughs> yeah it's like getting them wet keeps like slapping the other guy with it and it's like <laughs> it's like it's like a cool oh, noodle yeah sanitation engineer oh my god i see wow i 
challenged that all to a hell in the, uh, 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 hell in the sand at ah. WrestleMania. We shall engage in combat in the ring in the cell of hell. Anyways. On that note, we're, we're reaching the, the end sense. of the show. Yeah, we're, we're pretty much past it at this point. We are past it, but, you know, we'll finish what past we're working prime. on. Uh, well, that happened, you know, a long time ago. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'll let you. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Janathor. He's a janitor who's got the power of lightning. <laughs> Oh, extra attack RPG who dropped some lips in the chat. Lips in the chat. Lips in and the now chat. pretty soon we'll get some lips actually set up so that lips in the chat will mean something. Well, I mean it already um, means so much, but but it we are playing everything. As some of you watching may have noticed, we did change over the uh, points that you collect while watching the show into a currency known as lips, and we are going to come up with a bunch of things. You can use those for while watching. I think they'll make it fun. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll get to that good soon, time. maybe in another episode or two. Yeah, we have we have all we have and we've been talking about all sorts of ways we can use to to spice things up yeah. a little bit. Um, but you know, it's uh, we, uh, we we have we have cool things planned for everybody. We we're excited to be able to. Um, you know, kind of give people a really fun experience. Hopefully soon. Yeah. So, stick around for that. Come back. Yeah. You know, next week and the week after that, and see what we come up with. But uh, until then, thanks for tuning in. Thanks, uh, Extra Attack RPG, Leviathan Den. I think that was everybody in the chat tonight. But uh, we appreciate you. Thanks for coming around, making fun. Yeah, and um, I just want to ask you, Brandon, do you have anything that you would like to plug? Um, you know, I have this, I have this show. I do it on Mondays. It's called oh, Draw Bomb. You know, we what I draw things, I talk about things. Uh, uh, my co-host does like a weird old English voice, like for like half of it. <laughs> it was really high pitch. Yeah, it's a little it's bit almost upsetting. Rating. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so, there you go. How about you, Ian? Yeah. Um, gosh, well, you kind of took my plug. Oh, um, shit. You know, I was gonna say watch Draw Bomb 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Monday. Um, also, uh, check out Extra Attack RPG on YouTube, Twitch, yes. Instagram, Twitter, all of the places you could think of that you could type the words extra attack RPG. Type um, them. Just try it out. Go to some places that you're not sure if, if it will work or not and type it in there. Yeah, just type it into your, uh, into your, like, who, like your charitable contributions, tax return, um, type it into your checkbooks, like in the, in the yeah. pay to line when you pay your rent. Yeah, um, definitely do that. Uh, put it on your will more... as your like beneficiary yeah. when you'd pass away. Yeah, like give us your mansion. Um, it's if you want to see me do more fucking annoying and stupid voices, uh, that's the place you? to see it done. Yeah. Um, but I do I do stupid voices along with like three other people who also do less stupid voices than I do. Um, it's a lot of fun. We basically play Dungeons and Dragons, and it's it's us playing Dungeons and, and Dragons and having a good old time doing well, some music for great. it. Thanks yeah. everybody for watching, and uh, I'm gonna play us out, and uh, we'll see you next week. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are we doing the the end credits theme song right now? It's playing right now. Bomb has been planted. <laughs>